Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to the madness. So, it's Wednesday. I haven't done crap this week. Haven't checked in, haven't dime painted, diamond painted, nothing. So, I thought I better check in. And maybe take you guys to Home Depot. If my battery will last, I don't know if it will. But we have time to sit and chat because hubby's meeting me at Home Depot. Because if I go home, then that's going to be a big old fight. So, if I was to go home and then try to leave again, it would be a fight. Yes, me and my mother are fighting again. Isn't that wonderful? I don't know about you guys. But when I walk in the door, I need about... 10, 15 minutes. Let's just put it this way. I need to have a cigarette, chill, relax. When I walk in the door, don't start asking me tons of questions because I need that downtime. Every day I've walked in the door this week, all she's done is ask me questions and piss me off right I don't even get my shoes off I walk in the door and she's at me and it's stupid stuff like what's for dinner well I don't know what's for dinner there's been three people home all day long while I've been at work one of the people is the person who cooks why not ask him what's for dinner I know I'm bitching ranting but so, she wants to go get a pair of shoes. Well, that ain't happening today. Because today, if I have to nail John's ass to that saw, I'm making my project today. So, that's why we're here at Home Depot. Because we need to get another piece of wood. Because my hun husband is brilliant. And he called me this morning. He's like, I got a great idea. You know when we were putting our porch up, that piece of wood? Oh, no, he said, remember, you know you want those squares. And I'm like, yeah. He goes, remember when we were putting up the porch? I'm like, oh, my God, yeah, I know exactly what you're talking about. Well, he keeps wanting to go on and explain it to me. I said, John, it's the things that hold the rails up. Yes, that would work perfect. I know what you're talking about. Still wants to go. I'm like, John, enough. Yes, let's go to Home Depot and we'll get it. Oh, you know what I'm talking about? Yes, right when you said squares, porch. Yeah, I know exactly what you're talking about. So I guess I'm in a cranky mood. Work's been awful. Well, yesterday and today has been, ugh. Monday, I only had six orders. So here's to give you an example. Yesterday, I had 34 orders. Monday, I had six orders today I had I want to say 18 orders so yesterday was a nightmare average is 15 to 20 today was an average day but you know when you want to get home and I, well, I haven't been di I haven't diamond painted since Friday night and that was only an hour and then before that I think was Wednesday or Tuesday when I finished, um, what did I finish? Rose sheet music? Yeah. So, I want a diamond paint. An hour in a week? No, that's not enough time. So, all my mind is, all my mind is set on is diamond painting. Well, I don't think I'll be able to diamond paint tonight because I want to get this wooding thing done. I can't diamond paint until I get my wood project done. So, yeah. A little grumpy but she wants shoes and she wants to go tonight nah it's not happening sorry no not your personal chauffeur call uber have them take you to no I wouldn't do that I'm venting sorry I crabby really shouldn't be making a video right now but I crabby so plans are to get this wooden thing made it's gonna be so cool. 
It's gonna make life a lot easier with Starry Night because Starry Night is confetti hell and I am sick of it already. <coughs> Choking myself here. Okay. So, what have you guys been up to? Oh, I did get good news today. I got that famous text message from my, fa my father, my husband, that my DACs have arrived. So you'll get an unboxing tonight, which you'll already see because you don't see this till Sunday and today is Wednesday. I cannot believe today is Wednesday. I haven't filmed at all. All week. Well, I've filmed, but I haven't done any clips. I haven't done any check-ins. I love sitting in the parking lot and watching people walk in. We have some strange characters around here. Well, I guess I don't have very much updates for you because I haven't done crap. Oh, that poor lady just dumped everything. That's sad. All of her boxes fell off of her cart. Because this parking lot is off the potholes in this parking lot. Yeah. It's a nightmare. Okay, so. I'm going to get off of here. And you're going to go into Home Depot. So enough chit chat. Next time you see this, we'll be at Home Depot. Depot. Okay, so it should be here, right? What we're looking for? Right there. Holy shit, it's $12. I don't think so, John. And it, it's too, no. I, was, I mean, it's a I great concept. This right off. But no, it's too thick, too. That's why I was looking for the one time. I was punched out of the tree. Oh, I know which one you were talking about, the ones that you did in the middle. Well, is that down this way more? Where's the duck stuff? Huh? Should yeah, it should, shouldn't it? Because did we miss it over here? We walked by fast. No, it's not over here. There's the rails. Yeah, it doesn't show them. Stop. Huh. No, it's it, it's not going to work, please. Okay, what's your other idea? Kind of thick one that you got food range. Yeah. I just take two of those and then I take small bits towards the bike. Well, we're not even building that one today, so we still got time to think on that one. Okay. So, is this the wood you're looking at? Seven something a piece. Okay, so how big is it? It's uh, 10 feet. Okay, and there, the <laughs> thing in the back is 12 by 18. No, 12 by 16. 12 by 16. So let's make it 10 by 
Yeah, Wait, what what are you calling 12 and what is 16? 12. 12 is the Florida room? Length of the Florida room? No, that's 16. This is the Florida room. Twelve feet this way, sixteen feet that way. Oh. So what's sixteen times eight? Um uh, I don't have Becca here. She's not uh, uh, <laughs> hundred and eight. A hundred and eight dollars? Yeah, it would be, wouldn't it? Sixteen times eight, right? Yeah. Well, shit, well, I mean, paying about 20 bucks for each uh, thing. Okay, yeah. Okay, when you put it that way, so, well, we don't have to go 16. We don't have to go 16 because we're not putting the grills back over there. So we can go 12 by 10. This is 10. Yeah. This whole board. Are we going to be able to put the table and sit around it? I'm confused. We're going to have to... I'm a visual person, so you're going to have to take me out there. And we're going to have to mark it with the table on there and look. I am recording, you know this, right? Okay. <coughs> What's 10 feet? Oh, 10 feet's perfect. We could get, we got a, a table on that. And really, okay. I only want to put um, one table on. I don't want to put two tables. There's no reason now. The kids are moving out. Yeah. So 10 by 10, when we get home, we're not buying it today anyways. Right, right, right. When we get home, we'll mark it out. The gazebo's on there. So we'll John see. Can so you can rip up the uh, thing. Okay, so the gazebo is still put together, right? I can, we can yeah. measure the gazebo is what I'm trying to say. We'll measure the gazebo as long as there's, what is this? What is that, people? Um, maybe three, four inches. Inches? That's not even a foot, right. So, a foot on each side after the gazebo? I thought the gazebo was 10 by 10. I don't know what the gazebo is. Yeah. We'll, we'll figure it out. Hey, well, I was thinking. This is nice. <laughs> Wouldn't that make a nice duck? <laughs> Try twenty nine ninety seven each. And this is 12 feet. This is, this is 10 bucks each. No, look, this one's seven, this one's 10, this one's 29, that one's 1997. Right? No. Okay, then what's down here? Let's see, let's I'm so here. confused. These two are the same. Are you telling me? Two dollars more a piece, and I can have this. <laughs> and this is twelve. This is twelve feet. Oh shit, that's nice. Nah, yeah. Oh, this is a uh, one One seven six is the last three. Yeah, one seven six. What's that? Three. What? This doesn't make sense. One seven six. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Because. Oh, this is one seven six. Yeah, 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 and this is the price for one seven six. Yeah. So. But okay, look at the top ones. Are twenty dollars a piece. What does that look like? It's 12 feet. Um, four, four, zero. Four, four, but then we're, we're talking. Ooh, be, be careful.
What is that, anyways? Is it wood with plastic over it? It's composite it's material wood and glass. It's what I used for the steps for your mother's. Uh, oh, the yeah. Why that? Uh, custom made uh, pool ladder. I did. So if it's nineteen ninety nine, and we would need ten of them, that's two hundred bucks. How long would that last? Would it last 10 years? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Then it's worth the investment. Will it last 20 years? Possibly, yes. Yeah. Because how, how many years do we have that pool ladder that I made? Four, five. All right. And half of it was in the water and it was still good. Yeah, half of it was submerged in the water. You're right. Okay, so, but this won't be until next summer. Right. I cannot put this into the budget for right. this month. Okay, so that's what we'll do. Yeah, I, I, I like it. Now, okay, well, I got a question before we get all excited here. <coughs> Are you going to be able to attach the gazebo to this? Eight three two. No, uh, four four zero is your thirteen four forty. Where are you finding thirteen? Twenty bucks. Right. That's John Earl. I'm, I'm reading the tags on the side. Yeah, so... Yeah, this one's... Nice. I love it. Then we don't have to carpet it. Nope. I can spray it off with the hose. Yeah, I'm happy. What's this? Fifty bucks. Do you have to use those screws? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute, that might just rerail the whole thing. Okay, so So we'll put in the budget the new deck will be four hundred dollars. Is that a good enough budget to do the frame and the I think so, yeah. I would say so. I'd say it'd be more like 300, but I'm giving you 400 for your this and that, screws and all that other crap. Are you coming or no? You're just gonna sit there. I'm going to paint. John? Oh God. Let's go back and see what he's doing. <laughs> what are you doing? It looks like you're flipping off the ceiling. I'm coming. There's a big board in my way. And there's a big pipe. What? So, um, there to there and there to here. It's like double. You heard. Be... What are you doing? I'm measuring here. There to here. From there to there. I'm thinking, place the width of that, which will bring it here. Oh, I see what you're doing. So one, be... two, three, four. Okay, wait. One, two. Here, move this so I can get closer. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's eight. One, two. One, two, one, two three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Eight, nine. Eight, nine. Almost 10. So we could do 18. You know, bring it in a little bit shorter. That'd be how wide it is. We keep it 12 feet long. Why but do we need it? No. You don't want that one? No. What are you gonna, you're not building a dance floor. Well, I'm just saying, you know, that'd be 
nice and wide. Okay, then 15. So it'll be this from there to there. That'll be enough with the table and chairs around it. Okay, I, I can agree to 15. Okay, so recap. 15 so times this 20. is the Florida room. Yep. This That's is the Florida the room. Length of it. It's oh. only four feet short. Yeah. It'll be shorter than Florida. Are those laid out flat? Yeah. Oh, God. Nine. Oh, wait. You're taking the whole 400 budget right there on that. We want so we won't have to spend any more money in 10, 20 years. Remember, the back one cost me 500 bucks, and that was a dinky ass wood. Okay. And we can still use okay. wood boards for the beams. Well, there. you're agreeing to wait till next year. Yeah. So I'll bump it up to 500. You want 500? Yes, I know I can get to it, but you want 500 or 600? I need to know to put it in my mental 600. It better be a freaking good deck, I'm telling you. Here we go. Now he's going to add. Okay. Okay, but if you build the frame by, if you build the frame and not put the boards on it, is it going to shift and rot? Okay. We'll talk about it. Okay, paint. That's what we're on the mission for. Paint. I want a can of black spray paint. <coughs> are we getting close? Yes, we are. Anything else we need while we're here? Donnie, you're way back there. Spray paint. Okay. Two times ultra cover paint and primer. I think that's what I want. But I don't see black. Oh, nope, that's brown. Right here, babe. I need black. Oh, right down here. That'll work, right? Thingy. For my thingy, for my wood project. Mm -hmm. It seems dull. It is. Not blocks right there. Still 98 cents. This is five bucks. So yeah, give me gloss. Does it, do we have to worry about primer or we just no. do it twice? Yeah. I think I only need one can. Sure. Only nine eight cents. Okay. Should I get another red to be safe? This is the red I got. This one. I can't reach it. I'm gonna. It, if I try to get it, it's gonna fall on my head. Like yeah. Fluorescent. No, I got apple red. Okay. So. No, I don't want to do fluorescent. Yeah. You want to put a light fixture on it? Quite big, baby. I have a vision. I have a plan. Come along for the ride. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> 
When are you gonna paint my ceiling? When are you gonna tape it off? Oh, we're right here. Good, how are you? Okay, so good news. Sounds like he's pumped and ready to build it. Very happy about that. Ooh, what are you guys looking at? Oop. How about if I stay in my own lane here? So. Go home and build this thing. I know he's really bummed about his ideal. But. Now he's all excited about his deck. See, ladies, that's how you do it. You want him to do something, you gotta give him something. He can, once a week, buy a board for his deck, and he'll be a happy camper. I don't know why you don't take this way. You are so ding dong -y. I'll be home before you will. He's gonna go home through all the construction. We'll see who gets home first. Anyways. Yeah, I have a little competitions with him. But trust me, in his head, he's going to be like, Ooh, I got to hurry up and get home and I got to beat her. Because she's not going the way I didn't want to go. So, hey, dude, dude, thank you. Keep your little happy bag, like, in one piece. Now I had to come up with $600 to build him this deck. Won't be hard. Since I got him to agree till next year. But you better believe he will build the base this year. And I know what's going to happen. No, it's not going to. It's not in the budget. Sorry, dude. The purse strings have been tightened. No more spending. Now, if he wants to spend his money on buying the boards, he can do that. But, no, it's not in my budget. Hello, more DACs are coming out next week. Which, <clears throat> we'll see how well I stick to it. But, I'm pretty sure, unless it's something I desperately want... I don't know what it is. I don't know. I'm 75% sure that I'm not buying anything Saturday. But that often change. That can all go out the window. Well, no. I guess I'm more like 95% sure because me and my daughter are going on a trip. In a week and a half, we are going to Canada. A, eh? because we like going over there. Well, this is gonna be Becca's first time even leaving the country. She's got her passport and everything. So, hopefully, that's exciting for her. I remember the first time I went to Canada. I was excited that I was in a different country. Uh, now that I think of it. Yeah, Becca's never even left our state. Because she didn't go to Ohio with us. So, yeah. Now I have to think, I don't even think Jonathan has left the state before. Yeah, wow. So... Becca gets to leave the state. Do not ram into me, please. Thank you. Um, Becca gets to leave the state and go to a different country. All in one pop. And, oh, she's getting a whole bunch of firsts. Because in Canada, you're allowed to gamble at the age of, it's either 18 or 19. Whatever the age is, she's 20, so she can do it. 
And Becca's going to be able to drink for the first time in her life, too, legally. So, me and her are going to the casino and we're having a Long Island iced tea. And I can probably guess that I will be having two Long Island iced teas. Because I don't think she's going to like it. But that's what she wants to do. She wants to have a Long Island iced tea. Because I don't make those at home. I'm not a very good bartender. <coughs> bartender? Yeah. Barmaid? When they're at your house, what are they called? I think it's a bartender, right? I ain't certified. So, I'm very chatty today. Because I haven't talked to you guys in a week. Well, not a week. It's four days. When I went on that rant. Wow, that was a bad rant. I was in a bad mood that day. Ooh. If fire could have shot out of my eyes, it would have. Everyone would have been dead. Okay. I really don't like when people, they see that it's not your fault you can't go. And they come rushing up on your butt. I don't like that. And I have to deal with it here all the time. You know what? I think I'm going to do that too, guy. Because that traffic light is kind of scary there at this time of day because people don't pay attention all they want to do is get home they don't see that you're turning left and there's not a left turn lane so oh this is the street that we were going to move on we fell in love with the house on this street until we went into the basement and the basement was flooded. Then we found out there was a crack in their foundation. That's why the basement was stud flooded. Studded? Flooded. So that house went by. And we were thinking about moving there so we'd be close to Bob. Because this is before the whole she went into the nursing home when we first started looking for houses. I like my neighborhood. Oh, he didn't see me. We have a friend who lives on that corner right there. Which, John will, I think that's John behind me. He's going to stop and talk with him. Which is so funny to see your friends that you haven't seen in a long time and they have gray hair. Like, damn, where did the 20 years go? Well, we can tell it's been 20 years on top of your head. He probably thinks the same thing about me because I did not have gray hair when I knew him. I was a young 20 year old. Also, it's been longer than that. Ooh, shit. We're home. And look at the birdies. The birdies love that I moved the bird feeder up there. They're happy little birds. They have that what cake. They didn't even touch that cake yesterday. Today they just eat the whole damn thing almost. Okay, so that's it for right now. Damn, I talked for 10 minutes almost. So next time you'll see is the sneak preview of my wood project okay see you in the next clip okay guys so it's done are you ready bam so I look what symbol I'm looking for and it's H so I just take the tray out it's very hard one-handed here and then all I do is put that back in the slot so I know the missing tray is what I have because, you know, memory. It's all about the memory. And then I have these if, because right now this is the confetti in the section that I'm working. Sorry, my hand. This is the section that I'm working. So I take that 
and then I have the drills. Where's my hand? Where's my tray? Then I have, oh my God, this is very hard, guys. Sorry. Okay. Sorry. So then I have my drills already, and then I can place them there and then switch colors. But this helps with confetti hell, and I think she's beautiful. Or he, it's he. Can you guess what I kind of made it towards? That's right, Deadpool colors, yay. And look, Deadpool's waiting so patiently. Oh, you're on your face, Deadpool. You need to be happy and ready to diamond paints, yeah. And look, guys, I'm doing it. I'm keeping my trash for you. Oh, you're not supposed to see all that. That's all my da DACs. Don't look at the DACs. Don't look at them. Okay, guys. So I hope you enjoyed. And then there I can watch my YouTube with the speaker. And then I have the light to shine down. I think it works. I think this is an awesome setup. Big thank you to my hubby for helping me do it. And guess what? I got to use the nail gun, which you already saw. So, yeah, you'll see this after that. So, you already saw it. So, no news to you. And look, I'm watching Miss Coffee. I'm still trying to finish this one episode. <sighs> I'm doing it now. So, I'm letting you guys go because I am diamond painting. Bye, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Here it is little update not liking the squares not much done <laughs> okay just a little check-in I um am laying in my bed working on my this was supposed to be my work whip but now it's my bed whip watching my daughter play fallout and just gonna chill back here for a little bit so I hope you guys are having a good day hopefully today I talked to Johnny he said we get to build the new improved tray holder so this is what I'll be doing till he gets home look how clear those symbols are this is gonna be awesome nice relaxing okay guys I'll check in in a little bit bye okay so is it just me or is this very confusing? Why put the alphabet all as the same color? I started doing the F's and then I ran into the J and I'm like, wait a minute, is, is that a freaking J? Oh my God. So now I have to go up here and figure out if I have, no, where am I supposed to go? I don't know where I'm supposed to go. Oh, no, it's right here. I have to move all those drills right there and find out, are they F's or are they J's? Because in my mind, when I'm doing it, it kind of looks like an F, but it looks like a J. So, yeah. I think they just sit there and go, <laughs> how can we mess up those Americans? Oh, yeah, we'll put the, the alphabet all the same color. With a little hint of different color. The S's have a little hint of color. Different. But those F's and J's. Would that mess anyone else up? Because it's messing me up. Look, I'm so pissed. I'm shaking the phone every time I talk. Okay. Just had to share that little bit of news right there. Right. Where is it? Right there. And right here. And right here. I had to tear those off. and say, Oh my gosh. And now up here too. Oh. I might as well just do that whole color. Okay. Fun, fun, fun. Okay, guys. It is Wednesday, June 18th. I haven't posted a lot. And I haven't... Um, this week, you're going to get last week's and this week's vlog vlogs together. Hold on a second, guys. Ugh. That's always a tricky turn right there. Okay. So... What I was saying. Um, last week I was in a funk. And a few things 
had gotten to me. And I've worked through them. Nothing bad. Just life. Um, I don't even want to go into it because I'm sick of hearing about it on YouTube and I don't want to bring it up in my videos. So I was just, I was done. Every time I went to go do a, a check-in, it was fresh on my brain and it just, I was getting mad. So I would delete the um, update. So it's a new week. Everything's good. It's been raining for the last five days, so could never get outside to make the new shelving unit because me and John have decided the one that I made for myself was just way too compliment complicated. We made it way too hard on ourselves for anyone else to try to make it for themselves, I guess is what I'm trying to say. So he promised me, because you see, those guys, it's beautiful. He promised me today, because all I need him for is to cut the wood. I mean, I guess I could cut the wood too, but he enjoys doing that part. And he's really good at measuring. And I'm not. So it would take him no time. It'll take him maybe 15 minutes to cut the wood. So he just needs to get his ass out there and cut the damn wood. Exactly. So, hopefully, today is really slow. It is 2 o'clock. I have my last order on me. I have one more hour for them to be able to send orders, which I'm praying that none come because yesterday was crazy busy and tomorrow is crazy busy. So, yeah, I would like to have a slow day before tomorrow. I got a lot of things that I want to get done. It's just, you know, life. Um, yeah, so I snapped out of my depression. And I have came to a decision. Well, now, it's supposed to come today. My, I bought a new light pad. I went and bought the A2. I already have the A4 and I have the A3, which I thought the A3 was going to be big enough for me. Then I started getting these damn DACs and holy crap. Rack. need a bigger one so I did manage to get him to um, okay so I'm like going in circles today sorry um, I work off of a lap desk or lap tray it's not a desk it's a lap tray I guess it's called a desk too so it's tilted up too much and I've been watching you guys diamond paint and I like how you're able to put your tray on your painting and so it was really bugging me Sunday that I couldn't do it because I kept watching no this was Saturday I kept watching videos and I'm like I would be able to put my tray because I think it could go a lot faster if the tray is closer to the diamond painting because right now well back then I was holding it in my hand with the death grip so that my hand would get all wonky after a while. And it was just, of course, it was only probably three seconds more each time to place a diamond to go from where I was at it to my painting. So anyways, <coughs> sorry about that. Um, so I was like, I really want to be able to do this. So I was thinking, okay, well, what if I tried to rig a TV tray up with my lap desk and maybe I'll be closer Then I wouldn't have to have it so elevated, I'm trying to think all of this. So finally, my husband, um, like two or three months ago, oh shit, wrong exit, oh well, um, we went and bought these trays that is a TV tray, but it's tilt TV tray. Well, the only thing is, 
And now, I'm short, so I don't even know how he uses it. It was too short. You couldn't get it up to the height that you needed it. So, after some talking about it and him telling me, of course, again, no, this can't be done. And he was going to build me one. I'm like, I don't, or then he went online and started looking. I'm like, no, no, no. Why can't we just use the stuff that we have? So then I was showing him what I was talking about. This is all I need is this part lifted up. So finally I convinced him and he rigged this piece of wood underneath so it would lift up. So then Sunday, um, sure, why not get back on the expressway to get off one mile? Why not? Um, so Sunday, here I am just diamond painting like a freaking mad woman. That three seconds makes a big difference when you're placing how many freaking drills. Because now I started timing myself. Because I want to know how long each diamond painting takes me to do. Which is real simple. All I do is I have my phone right there. And I start the stopwatch. And when I have to get up to do something, then I push stop. So, it's an actual accurate amount of time. It's not me saying three days, four days. Well, some days I can diamond paint for six hours. Sometimes I diamond paint for two hours. Or, like, Sunday, I diamond painted for, I don't even know how long. Because, you know, he's stopping and going. Well, I, di I diamond painted for, I actually diamond painted for six hours on Sunday. But that was from 12 noon, well, 12.30, after I did the crock pot. Oh, am I supposed to be going this way? I didn't even look. Of course, I always do this to myself. Got in the wrong lane. <clears throat> Why am I getting froggy? So, let's just call it 1 o'clock I started. And then, oh, so it was basically about 12 hours. Whoa. But I got up and I did laundry and stuff like that. So anyways, I guess it doesn't feel as bad. Because it was only six hours, so, and then I, you know, had to stop and make dinner and eat and all that fun stuff. Life gets in the way. So, okay, we gotta get over real fast. Hello, Mr. Fire Truck. Okay, so, after me working on that tray all Sunday and then comparing the section, and I mean, the section was small, to the section that I got done, Holy crap, I got a lot done in the, that amount of time. Does that make sense? Anyways, so, Sunday was Father's Day, and made the roast, and John wanted to watch um, Game of Thrones, which, I like Game of Thrones, but I didn't want to watch each week. So I was just keeping them all up until it was over so I could just binge watch. Which, I mean, it was good. I, I just, they made us wait two years for that. Okay, where am I going? I have to concentrate for a second. Why don't I just stop you here because I'm almost there. Okay, I'm back. So, anyways, I made the lap tray. I think that's where I left off. Um, and it works so much better. So, I have Starry Night on my other lap tray. I guess I should call the other one my TV tray. So, um... I wanted to play around and see, you know, because, okay, let me, oh my gosh, I'm like all over the place. So, I was doing my, um, I call it Blue Flat Family. It's the one about, um, family is a little bit of love, 
something about crazy. I don't know. It's what I want to do for my front. I'm putting it on my front door. So, anyways, why did I keep saying anyways today? Ugh. Um. So, I had that on my other lap desk in my room because that's the one that I was going to do at work. And then, yeah, big joke there. Can't do anything at work, which I have. I've decided something though. See, a lot of things have just clicked into place with me. So, I'm feeling really good and I'm, I'm doing good. So, can't diamond paint at work. And you guys know that when I get a diamond painting, except for DAC, only DAC, 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 um, stays in the box. After I do the unboxing, everything goes back in the box because I don't have to worry about, um, oh, what am I trying to say? Fixing the canvas so I'm able to work on it. I don't have to put it in my portfolio and put it under my bed and can't work on it until it's actually relaxed. Well, no. DAC, you pull it out of the thing, you revert, re-roll it the other way, or you just let it sit there for a couple of minutes and it it does its thing. You guys, I, you guys know this. I don't know why I'm telling you this. So, anyways, my DACs are the only ones that I don't do my storing away system, I guess is what I would call it. So when I get a diamond painting, I wonder if my son's at work today. He works right there. Um, I could go bug him, but I'll be good. I will, I'll leave him alone. Um, oh uh, my God, my brain. So I get a diamond painting and I do an unboxing and then I take the canvas and it goes into my portfolio. And then I take those drills and I take them out of those packages that I hate cutting apart. Which I guess once I get caught up, I could take a box. Each day take a box of DAC and do my system because I still need to get those into the baggies. So, okay, what I do is I have these, I forgot what inches they are. I want to say three times two, three inches by two inches. That seems big, but I think that's what it is. It's not the four by fours. Oh my God, those are humongous. Those are with Miss Coffee now. <laughs> Got rid of those. She loves baggies. She can have them. And if she doesn't want them, she can throw them away. But I think she would find something for her. But anyways. Um, oh my God, my brain. So I take the baggies. And now I noticed. And I don't know if that was in one of my blogs. But because I did a video where I was. I don't know if I did a video. Huh, I might have to look into that. I think I did though. A little chit chatty. I think that's how I ended my my last blog. I'm almost positive. These weeks have just like went into one meshy thing. Anyways, so when I was starting to, cause I changed, I forgot who I saw and I'm really sorry. It might have even been Ella who did it probably um I saw how she just cuts the top off of the bags that I hate and instead of doing the index card because she is the one I got the index card from I know that for sure what I used to do is get an index card and write the number the DAC code on it then I would open all those bags so I would only have to deal with one bag where I don't need scissors to open up well then I'm pretty sure it was her then she got into where she does it. She does it each time she starts a new color. And then she just put the bag in. And I'm like, whoa, that would save me time from writing out the index cards. Well, I did that for two paintings. Thank God I only did it for two paintings because no, that's not good for me. Because, okay, do not slam into me. Um, 
people do not realize that there's someone in front of you trying to turn left so they're just coming full speed and then they slam on their brakes anyways so sure it was fast and quick and easy but then when I was going to um, put the drills away and I don't have that painting in front of me anymore I was getting confused now yeah I guess I could just really learn the 600s and the 900 colors but I'm old now my brain doesn't work that way so now I'm gonna go back to using the index cards because then I will know if it's 606 or 909 so I mean there's a couple of them you know like 106 109 you know no maybe not you know what I'm trying to say there's a couple of things that you can really mess up if you didn't know if that was a 9 or a 6 so I'm going back to my index card way and I figured when I have downtime at work instead of going all the way back home I can just do my what did I say I just said I was gonna call it something my storage away storing my drills away process that's what it was because it's so nice to when you go to get to start a new painting you just go in the drawer or the bin like if it's a bathroom you go into the bathroom bin and you just grab the drills and then I can just go right there and do my kitting up and not have to worry about cutting little baggies up just open the bags pour it in I'm ready to go and then I'm not taking up time that I can be diamond painting while I'm at home I can do it at work and it just makes sense to me mind me doesn't make sense to other people but I can't diamond paint in my car I've learned that so anyways whoa that was a big thing about saying why I couldn't diamond paint in my car oh that was a big bump that was a big puddle sorry for the big jump Oh, I guess I should watch. My husband laughed at me the other time that I did the one video, and I guess I hit quite a few potholes. And at one point, you guys were just staring straight up at the sky, and he was liking it because you know he knows this area. He's like, "Are you? Were you? At, there's waves. You were at Nine and Gross Grash it or Jefferson." I'm like, "Yep." He's like, "I thought so," and then I saw waves, and I knew for sure. So. Which I still have to get you in the position that I want you to be in. But, yeah, I haven't gotten to that. Because I really need to clean my car. Yeah, it's just, you know, one of those things where I just haven't gotten to that yet. I will, soon. I'd say by next weekend. Well, I don't know. I'm not putting dates on me. I'm not putting pressure on me. I'll do it when I need to do it, when I get a chance. So anyways, um, so, 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 so a button on a balloon, watch it pop. Um, the painting that was, I considered then my back, my bedroom painting, my whip, was around. Starry night. is a square and it is the worst confetti I've ever done in my life. Uh, eh. Okay, I take that back. It's the same confetti as the frickin' breast cancer ribbon that I did, which you guys never got to see that because I did that before I started my channel and there might be a picture on my Instagram. I'll have to check, and if not, I'll throw it up there. Um, so, because it's a lot of confetti, and because it's squares, I still haven't made up my mind about squares. Is that a little too loud on you guys? Um, so, I still haven't made up my mind. Right now, I'm not liking squares, but I've you know, I have to like play tricks with myself and say, okay, 
to make things better, I'm going to have one round painting and one square painting going at all times because what was it, the last vlog, 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 whatever. Um, oh great, hold on. Hello? Okay, so I have another one, so I have to go back to work, which just gives me more time to talk to you guys. So, um, oh my god, stop. What was I saying? Okay, so to kind of play a trick on my mind, which my mind knows what I'm doing, so I don't know. To make me feel better, I'm going to have a round and a square. Oh, that's what I was saying. The last one, the last video, the vlog, vlog, vlog. Uh, let's see, is hubby home? Nope, hubby's still not home. I was almost home, so driving by my street. Which, I guess you guys never seen this way. This is, now act like I'm on my way to work, because this is how we go to work. Uh, ramble, ramble, ramble. Oh, yes. Me and my daughter counted. The next five paintings that I have planned, because it's overwhelming, um, no Words Needed is going to be the next one that I start after Starry Night. I was really hoping for Pokemon, but no one's voted. I think two people voted for Pokemon. So, after Starry Night, it's going to be No More, no, no Words Needed. Then it's going to be one panel of Pokemon. Maybe two because me and my daughter really want to get that done and up on the wall because we can't Put any more paintings on that wall until we know how much After getting it all framed and everything knowing how much we are going to have room for that wall get what I'm trying to say so When I heard that was a kind of stupid okay um I really shouldn't have turned when I did but we're all good when I heard that number five my next five paintings I was already in this like funk depression yuckiness so it was like another thing put being put on my shoulders and I just didn't want a diamond paint because it's squares so, to relieve the funkiness, um, dude, <sighs> to relieve that, Sunday night, I finally came with to a conclusion that I am going to have a round and a square going at the same time. Now, my main focus will be the square, but there are certain nights, like last week, there was two nights where I could have really diamond painted. But because it was the square, I would rather just sit in my chair on my phone playing my game than diamond painting. Well then, I was feeling bad because I wasn't diamond painting because I really wanted to diamond paint. Get it? Got it. So, this will help with days like that. I just did not feel like tackling the square. And now that I'm getting the new light pad today my new TV tray invention is getting that light pad which the squares will be on that light pad so I like to say be I like the setup of it so I'll be more inclined to do my square I'm thinking I'm hoping this mind trick works and on the days where I'm just like, Ugh, not doing squares today, then the desk, the lap tray that I really don't care for will have the rounds and I'll be happy just doing my round on the lap tray that I don't care for. Does it make sense to anyone else? Because it makes perfect sense in my brain and my brain is like, yes, we have a plan. I guess that's what it is, is just having a whole plan so I'm not being hard on myself. Now I know 
people are out there thinking, if you don't want to diamond paint, just don't diamond paint. It's not that. Yes, I do take breaks from diamond painting. But there's days that I really want to diamond paint, but I don't want to work on that project. So then I'm pissed at myself because I really wanted to diamond paint, but I didn't want to work on that. That's what I'm asking. Does it all make sense? <coughs> and does my plan sound good? Because I think it sounds amazing. So. My whole rabble from the beginning was you didn't get a blog vlog last week because I was just not in the best mental space and I couldn't control my temper so it was best that you guys didn't get clips because I was just a very angry depressed person last week Which I hide it very well. But. Because if you see me in lives. You wouldn't have known a difference. But it was just the battle that was going on inside. And then when I had time. To make clips like this. It was just. A bunch of swearing. And. Not very nice. I was given my opinion. When no one was asking for my opinion but I felt like it was my duty to get it off my chest, which it did help to get it out, to speak it, because I've noticed this too. Venting is good, and I was holding it all in, but then I would do these little clips, and I would be letting it out, or I was talking to certain people too, and every time I let it out, the anger just got a little less. Does that make sense? So, but now I'm all good. I'm happy. Yay me. So, the plans for this week. To get Starry Night at least, the very least, three, now I call them panels. It's three parchments, uh, parchment squares. I couldn't think of what it was called. But I call it panels. So, get three parchment squares done. definitely making that new shelving thing tonight that's for my daughter and for you guys so you guys can see how easy it is if you want to make one your own make it because it would be way too much for me to make them and sell them the shipping the weight on it which who knows these might be um, lighter but I leave the selling to my daughter. I do not want to be making all these trays because that takes away from the diamond painting. Now, I don't mind helping her make the cover minders. That's fun. We take a day and just make cover minders, which I'm thinking tonight that's probably what we'll do. She went and bought a whole bunch of more different characters, and yeah, that's fun. I really enjoy doing that. So, hope. Oh. Shameless plug, if you need cover minders or pens, look below for my daughter's Etsy, Etsy shop. Etsy, 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 not Etsy. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's why I don't do commercials. But they are so cute. I'm going to have to steal a couple for myself. Because someone was saying, I think it was on Facebook I read it. Or it might have been in someone's video. And if I remember it was you, I will give you credit. But if I don't, because I have a brain that doesn't retain information where I get it anymore, I'll say, hey, I got this from blah, blah, blah. I mean, look at what's in the pot Monday. I got the recipe from Elizabeth, and I linked her below and everything. I'll do that. Now, I don't know how to do what you fancy people do and put the picture on the screen with the video I don't know how to do that but I will give voice credit or credit down below 
when I've seen it on your page or your video or whatever. But anyways, I was seeing that someone who uses parchment paper uses the cover minders to help secure like if you didn't get like when I pull off a panel I pull off a panel but there's sometimes that I just don't get that whole panel done so then I have to cover it with parchment paper and I've been using scotch tape to redo it which doesn't work very well but someone said to use cover minders for that and I was like oh okay so I tried it and it worked so now I need cover minders but I don't want to use my turtle because my turtle is so cute on the refrigerator and oh my god everyone that comes over Marissa people love your turtle see plug Marissa People walk in my kitchen, they're like, oh, look at the turtle, where'd you get the turtle? And then I had to go in the whole story about how I won the game and I got it as a present. So, yeah. I guess I could make some from my fridge too. That's another day. Just call it me Rambly Becky today. Which, hey, at least this with all the clips that I have from last week, and I mean, they're like, some of them are just, like, not even a minute long showing you my progress, which there wasn't much progress last week. This might actually be a decent vlog. Haha, -ha, I said it right. Okay, can you move, dude? Yeah, I really need to move that camera. Maybe that's something I'll do today if I have the disc. I need a disc. So we'll see. Because I tried putting you on the window. Oh, maybe I could try that again. Let me try that one more time. Okay. I'm going to pause you and we're going to move you. Okay, so I have you in a new position and I didn't even think of this position. And this might be even totally better. You probably can hear me better first of all. And you're out of the sun. So my phone's not going to be overheating because you're not right in the sun. Exactly. One thing you are. What's that that you're seeing? What's that? Oh, that's the actual mount. I don't know if there's a way that you don't want that. What if I did that? Is that better for you guys? Uh, so yeah, oh, don't, don't get up. Okay. So, so you're going to see the mount a little. Now, I wonder if this is more shaky for you guys, which this is a bad road to even try to tell because if you can't hear my voice, my voice is even shaking. But this way you guys can see more. I think you would want to see more if it's a little more shaky. I don't know. You tell me. Tell me if you like the first way or this way. One or two. Because I'll know what one is and I'll know what two is. <laughs> I'm brilliant like that. Okay, so. We are making our last delivery now. And then we are going home. And my husband is home. He's been home for 20 minutes. He better be up there doing the wood. So right when I get home, I'm hoping to be able to make the storage tray. And I'm really hoping that my light pad is there when I get home. I'd really like to set that up and then just do some diamond painting. Because, oh yeah, I was telling you about Sunday, never finished telling you about Sunday. So we watched Game of Thrones. Eh. I kind of already suspected that's who was going to be named King and, okay now, they're weird names so I don't remember names but I like to call her Redheaded Bitch from the Seventh Kingdom. Yeah, whatever. Loser. You be your own kingdom. Whatever. So, 
But the one thing I really enjoyed, let's roll up the window so you don't hear that. Um, after each episode, it said, inside the episode, which was very helpful because, you know, you can't remember, especially they made us wait two years. So you really can't remember, well, I couldn't. You know, that this person was connected to this person. I forgot that what's-his-name was married to the redhead bitch for a minute. <laughs> I can't think of his name. But I love him. He was in um, The Avengers, too. Not two, but two, as in in it before, whatever. Um, hello, Mr. Police Officer. So, and I like this, too, because you guys are hidden, too. I mean, if a cop wanted to, they could see it, but... It's not like in your face. Hey, look, I'm recording. It's by, you're by my rear view mirror. So, okay, I'm supposed to get off here. Um, so after that, because I didn't know that each episode was like an hour and a half long, and there was six episodes, so you do the math. That's all we did. So I was still diamond painting, and I said to my husband, I said, Johnny, are you going to bed? Because he usually goes to bed, you know, around that time. And he's like, why do you want me to go to bed? And I'm like, I am just asking, are you going to bed? He's like, but why? I said, because if you're going to bed, then I'm going to watch The Hands Made Tale. Because I'm not watching The Hands Made Tale with you. Because this is season two. And I'm not going to try to explain season one. And I'm not re-watching season one. So this is a show that I watch without you. If you feel like you want to watch it, you can watch it. But not right this minute. So he's like, well, yeah, I was thinking about laying down anyways. Well, then why did we just have this whole discussion? You could have said, yeah, I'm going to lay down. Duh. So anyways, he went to bed. And I started watching The Hands Made Tale. And the next thing I know, it's 6.30 in the morning. What the hell happened? So, which, okay, I gotta take that back. Because at 2.30 in the morning, my daughter said to me, you do realize what time it is. And I'm like, yeah, just one more episode because I usually go to bed around, you know, three o'clock. And these are only like 45 minutes long. So yeah, just one more episode. Well, I didn't even notice she got up and went to bed. And the next thing I know, it's 6.30 in the morning. My husband's walking through the living room and he's like, you're still up. And I'm like, I know, I'm wide awake. I can't go to sleep. Well, I had to be up at 9.30 the next day. So, uh, yeah. Well, I had to be out of the house at 9.30. So I had to wake up at 9. So about two and a half hours sleep. Yeah, that, that was really smart. So yesterday when I came home from work, <coughs> I basically, okay, dude, are you going to turn or not? Oh, you're not a dude. Um, oh, this way you guys can see what I'm talking about too. You can see, well, you can't see when people are trying to. A lot of my problem with traffic is the ones beside me. They try to come over into my lane when they're not supposed to. Anyways, um, so yesterday I came home and I asked him, you know, what's for dinner? He's like, I'm going to do barbecue chicken on the grill. And I'm like, okay, well, can you make it soon? Because I really just want to go lay down. And I have a feeling when I lay down, I'm going to pass right out. And he's like, sure, give me a minute and I'll start it. Well, he started it. And of course, what happens every time that John goes to cook something on the grill, he runs out of gas. So halfway through, he had to bring it in the house and made a big production. I ran out of gas in the grill. I'm like, just put it in the oven. It's not a big deal. So that's what he did. He put it in the oven and I ate dinner. Me and Becca had a little camp picnic on my bed and I put on YouTube and within 15 minutes of the first video yeah I was fast asleep and then I woke up someone messaged me I don't even know what time it was 
I replied to them and didn't hear it go off the second time. And the next time was about one o'clock in the morning. And then I stayed up to about 2.30, went back to bed and woke up at nine o'clock all refreshed and ready to tackle the world. And that's where I'm at. So you got my plans. I have plans for my future. It's diamond painting and making that show. And um, if I get it done, I will give a little clip of whatever I get done tonight. I know I'm definitely um, diamond painting, so you'll get a little snippet of that. And I'm not sure, I don't think Sunday I gave you a snippet of my progress on the family one I'll have to go back and look and if I didn't then I'll start it off with what I'm starting with and then the progress one after because it makes no sense to give you a this is what I'm starting because probably the last clip that you watch is me saying here's what I got done tonight and then the next day you got this is what I'm starting well no shit people because or not people no shit Becky you just showed us that in the last clip, so I'm trying not to do that, I'm trying to remember not to do that. So those are my goals in life. Aren't they great goals? I think they are. Yeah, I am really liking it up here. You guys are gonna have to tell me what you like better. Do you like seeing where we're going or do you like looking out the side like you were in the back seat looking out the side window? Already like being in the front seat looking out the front rear. Oh shit. Yep. Didn't realize. Okay. <laughs> now you're probably like, give me the side window. Give me the side window again. <laughs> that was quite fast stop. Sorry. I forgot to tell you guys to hold on. Next time I'll tell you to hold on. Because I braced myself. I'll tell you that. Oh. <sighs> Yes, I'm a crazy driver. But that's how you get things done. Be a, ste a speed demon. Yeah. Now, I really do like it this way. I like you guys seeing the front view and out the side view. Okay, guys. So, I'll check in when I can. And I'll try not to make you guys wait for the weekly vlog in two weeks. Now I'm not promising that, oh, my speed is, yes. It's kind of weird to be on this kind of a street, but okay. Okay. What's my house? Okay. I'll check in with you guys later. Bye. Okay. I remembered. The main reason that I started this video today, I have a question. So, I'm having a hard time um, coming up with something that's not annoying. Okay, I guess I should just say it. I don't know how to end my videos. I have not come up with that. Do you guys like when I start a video where I say, hello, 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 welcome to the madness? Or is that annoying? Because in a way I like it, but then in a way I'm like, oh God, what if that's annoying? So can you tell me annoying, not annoying? That is the question. Because I kind of like saying it, but if it's annoying, then I won't say it. So the last couple of videos, I haven't said it. And it just feels weird. But I really need to come up with something to end my video. But my brain is not coming up with anything like that. But I kind of like how I do it. But if it's annoying, now I'm just repeating myself. How many times can I say it? Okay. So we're done with work. Yay. Happy days are here. I really, oh, I didn't even see. Okay. This is a very scary intersection. Close your eyes. Okay, we're good. 
never can see the oncoming traffic because the left hand turn lane traffic is so heavy. God, I have spoken a lot today too. just make little notes to myself of what I want to talk about because then when the video cut when I you know close the video down or whatever you want to say when I stop recording it's like oh but you wanted to say this and you wanted to say that and then poof it's gone and then I don't know when I watch it back it doesn't annoy me that it's a clip here clip there clip there because they kind of like all go together. It's not like a long pause. You know like when, and this is the perfect example. You know you're watching a TV show. Well, for you who watch live, because I don't watch live TV anymore. It's got to be Netflix or Hulu or HBO because I do not do commercials. That's why I gave up all of my uh, Bravo shows taking a break from TLC because why all I do is watch YouTube now but anyways that's my choice but I'm missing my shows and that whole thing of me watching YouTube while I'm at work and then come home and watch TV shows well no because I get so involved with the YouTube that when I come home I just keep on watching it but anyways <coughs> why am I saying that so much today it's very annoying okay we can make it that's a long term. Um, uh, okay, what do I was saying? You know when there's a commercial break and there's like that two second, sometimes three second of black before it goes into the commercial? Well, we don't get that when we pause, so I don't know. Maybe I'm just rambling. But the, the vlog is all about a lot of clips together, so what would it matter if I came on it, if I remembered what I was trying to say, or what I wanted to say, to come on and just add it, because that's what the whole point of this is. I don't know. Okay, we are almost home. We are in Warren, Michigan. And if this red van wasn't in front of me, you would be able to see Detroit. I think this, when you're on this road, can you? No, this one you can't see. As if I was on grass shit. In the far, far distance, you would be able to see the Detroit skylight. But if you see that red light up there, not the green one that we're going to be turning at. That's the beginning of Detroit. It's at the end of my street. Basically. That would be 8 Mile, people. Yes, I live on 8 Mile. Well, by 8 Mile. I live at it 8 and a half. Ooh, she doesn't look happy. So you just basically saw my way home? Well, when I deliver like that. I always come from different ways. And you got to see my way to work. It's been a very productive day for you too. Look at that. God, I hope he's out there. If it's not done, at least he's out there cutting the wood. Because it shouldn't take him long. And I am so sick of this um, cotton wood. Can you guys see it flying around? This is the longest that the cottonwood has lasted. And I am highly allergic to it. So my sinuses are still going crazy. And I swear, if I get bronchitis again for next week, I am going to be mad. I won't be going. If I get bronchitis this time, I am not going next year. Oh, I guess I should tell you where I'm going. Next, Monday is when we go to Canada to watch the fireworks. We go sit on Canada's side to watch the Detroit fireworks. 
well really technically it's the Detroit and Canada fireworks but it's not their Independence Day so but a lot of Canadians go to look at the fireworks so okay is the grass cut nope Okay, can you see it? See, that's a piece of shit car that I'm always talking about, giving it a hard time. Nope, and the saw isn't even out. So, I guess I had to go do some sawing myself. Okay guys, see you in a few. So, I forgot to update you last night, but I got this, where is it? This section done last night in this section done tonight. And I have to admit, after changing my tray system, oh, sorry about the ashtray, to big trays instead of those little trays, oh my God, what a difference. I just can't use the yellow trays, the yellow trays. I'm looking at the yellow part of the canvas. It's late, it's almost one o'clock in the morning. So, what I've noticed about the little trays is they're just too damn small. And when, here, let me come out a little bit more so you guys can just look at the painting while I talk. Um, when I would go to try to pick up a drill, you know how you sometimes just miss the drill and hit the tray. All my drills would start jumping and then I'd have to reshake. So, it seemed like I was constantly reshaking. And with the blue trays, I don't have that problem. Well, sorry, wasn't paying attention because I was looking at the blue tray. Um, so now that I went to the blue tray, I can give you an example. This section took me three hours and 15 minutes last night. This was small trays. This section took me two and a half hours. Now, I don't know if I mentioned this, but I am timing myself. So I have my stopwatch on my phone, and when I start, I push start. And when I have to get up and do something, or my husband wants to talk to me, I pause it because I have to be looking at him. So when I'm not diamond painting, I pause it. So that's why I say two and a half hours. Now I've been working on this since five o'clock so six hours of stopping getting up going stopping getting up going you know but two hours diamond painting official time yes and it is official so that's my progress and I will show you tomorrow because tomorrow I'm hoping to have this section done oh well that's like one and a half because that's right well that's what we're gonna do is one and a half so then I got two easy ones then I have a one and a half and then two easy ones so we're looking at what is today Wednesday Thursday Friday Saturday Sunday Monday Tuesday Tuesday is the goal well that kind of looks like a little church right there doesn't it or is it just me I don't know if you're really supposed to find anything because I know that's kind of like a tree but then, I don't know. I really don't know. I guess it is kind of, right? If those are clouds. I don't know. Where did the stars come in? It's called Starry Night, but you don't see stars. This is things I ponder. And like, what are these? Are they supposed to be little planets? Little bursts of stars, maybe? Maybe that's how it gets Starry Night. I don't know. Leave it in the comments what you think. Because I have no clue. I know this is a gust of wind. Right? That's what I'm assuming. Okay. It's 1 o'clock. I need to go to bed. Bye, guys. Okay. Just walked in the door. And I got some mail. Saturday I ordered from Jeremy Fryer. I will link his shop below. Because you know that I'm not fancy and I can't do the shaky. The Not shaky. The inserting things here but he will be linked below so I got a purple diamond a 
blue F-bomb. Bomb. There we go. And a purple F-bomb. One for me, one for Johnny. And the diamond's mine. He's not getting my diamond. So I have instructions. And at the bottom it says, thank you for your business, Jeremy. Well, Jeremy, thank you for getting it here so fast. I was not expecting it this fast. Not for sure. That's for sure. So, what else is my update? Um, work sucked. Yep. I have to be up very early tomorrow. So, instead of doing... Here, look at a diamond. Instead of looking at my fat hand. Look at a pretty diamond. Hi, Toby. You think I'm talking to you? Um, <laughs> come on, you can get up here. You want to say hi to the people? Well, come on. Come on. You're going to say hi to the people? Say hi, people. Oh, you can't even be seen. Oh, they see your nose. See, I'm getting my rubs. Who cares if you can see me or not? I can't lift you up because Becca's behind me and she'd be quite mad. Right? Say hi. Say hi. No? Okay. <laughs> um... So, since because I have to work so early in the morning, I'm not going to open the big section. I'm going to open up a small section, and I'm going to diamond paint. So, that's my plans for tonight. It's Thursday. And I'm pretty sure I'm working all week, and not sure. It's the only thing I hate about my job is that I don't know. can never make plans. I'll get a call probably about 8 o'clock today telling me that I have a wedding tomorrow, which I don't know if I can do that because tomorrow's crazy, but what you gonna do? Gotta make that money somehow to buy more diamond paintings. Every time I talk, Toby's ears are going crazy. <laughs> he thinks I'm talking to him. No, I'm talking to the people on the internet. Yes, the ones that think you're so cute and adorable. And no one could ever get mad at the Toby. Not. They don't know your evil side, huh, Tobes? Okay, I'm just rambling. And you're just, uh, once again, just staring at nothing. Here, stare at a diamond. So, I'm going to get off of here. And I am going to go diamond paint. Maybe I can um, tie my son down and we can do a paint with me. That he promised me since Mother's Day. It's June 20th. Mother's Day was over a month ago and he still hasn't done it. Yeah, not very happy about that. But we love him. Sometimes. Right, Toby's? He's just standing here shaking every time I say something. You want to hear the word treat? You want a treat? Okay, Toby's going to get a treat. So, okay. Hello, guys. It is Saturday. Saturday, Saturday, Saturday. It is 12.23, and guess what I just got done doing? Yep, by my DACs. So, one more weekend. And then after that, I'm going to stop buying. But, okay, so this is my realization, my justification of why I'm buying every single week. You get a code for 30% off. Now, like today's, I got one of my paintings totally free, and then my other two paintings, I got $13.99 off of each one. So, yeah, I'm going to take advantage of getting new releases at that great discounted price. That's how I figured the justification of it. So, I got two. Becca got one. And I bought my daughter-in-law one. But I'm not telling you what I got. You'll just have to wait for the unboxings. <clears throat> my daughter-in-law is very excited. Because I guess it's her favorite princess. So, she... And... Uh, if she's not home when I do that unboxing, I'm gonna save that one so she can see it being unboxed because I mean, it's her painting. I don't think she's gonna wanna do the unboxing. I will ask her though. 
but I don't think she will. But she'll sit there and let me do the unboxing, I know that. Like Becca does. No, you're better at it, Mom. You just do it. Okay, whatever. I'll do it. Don't have to twist my arm to do an unboxing, especially looking at the beautiful cams and beautiful drills. I just love it. I get very excited about the, the canvas. Don't get me wrong on that. I mean, the, the canvas. They're breathtaking. But there's sometimes those drills, they take my breath away. Which I know I've said this before. I think I said this in my last unboxing. When you compare Diamond Art Club's drills to any other company, the brightness and the vibrancy, I think that is a word. <laughs> look at me looking. Where, well, see now, look, I, I, I just messed it all up. I was about to say, look at me using big words, but I can't even use the small ones in the right way, so ignore that. Um, so, had to work this morning. Got a flat tire. I was 23 minutes late getting the bouquets to the person's house, which wasn't a big deal because first she said 11 o'clock, then she said 10.30, then she said 10 o'clock. So I got it in, in between 10 and 10.30. So, you know, can't help it if you get a flat tire, especially it was dirt roads with, oh my God, the potholes. Oh, but yeah, it was main roads that are dirt roads. So, yep, I got a flat tire. <coughs> which didn't shock me at all. So if I remember, when I get home, I'll give you a progress update on both paintings. I don't know now if Starry Night hasn't changed, which I don't think it has, but I'm just gonna give a fast one, Virtual Starry Night. But I know you guys have not seen the progress on the Blue Family. And I think what the Blue Family says is, family is, a little crazy, a little loud, and a lot of love. I think that's how it goes. Or maybe the middle part is wrong. But I know it's crazy and loud, but I don't know if it's a little or a lot. I think it's a lot loud. A little crazy, a lot loud, lots of love. I don't know. Whatever. When it's done, you'll be able to read it yourself. <laughs> Um, yeah, so right now, I guess I should tell you where we're going. We are going to pick up my son from work. Yay! And then I get to go back to work. Yay! And then I get to come home and make, well, no, I have to go grocery shopping. Then have to make dinner. And then I get to go back to work tonight. Probably like 1 o'clock in the freaking morning. So I'll probably be up till like three or four. So my last entry for this vlog, see if I stop and think about it, I can say it. It's when I try to say it fast and then it's like vlog, vlog. Um, will be tonight because I want to get this up for tomorrow. And technically, it will be tonight because it will be after midnight. <laughs> See how I worked that one out? Because um, I know what's going to happen. I won't get home until 3 o'clock in the morning. I'll probably stay up till 6 o'clock in the morning. And then I'll probably sleep until 2 in the afternoon. Which I really hate that because I had plans tomorrow. But... If I'm doing a pickup tonight, I know, I know me. There's no way you can do a pickup because you have to do a pickup fast. Okay, I guess I should explain what a pickup is. I'm going to pick up a wedding tonight. So, after everyone leaves, I have to tear down the wedding. And a lot of these places, they just want to go home. So you have to work fast 
and get your butt out of there as fast as you can. So after rushing and all the adrenaline to tear it down as fast as possible, then you're like hyped, you know? And then when you walk in the door, well then I had to take it back to TFI and unload it there, which I could take forever on that. No one's there. It's just me and the warehouse. But after you're done doing that, I can't walk in the door and say, okay, good night. Because I'm just like, I'm awake, you know? So, I already know. And my plan was to get up at 10 o'clock in the morning and just diamond paint because I was good yesterday. I took off yesterday and didn't diamond paint, but I cleaned my room. My room has not been mommy cleaned in at least two months. It might even be three now that I'm thinking about it. Because it was before Mother's Day. So, you could go, you know. Don't buy a big car if you can't drive it, people. Um, so, let's see if my son should be ready to get out right now. But I don't see him. Okay, so you're just going to stare at Little Caesars right now, but all you basically see is Home Depot's sign in it. Um, he did say 1230. Okay, back to what I was saying. Um, yeah, it was before Mother's Day when I really, really cleaned my room. And with me and John and Becca sharing a room, John and Becca are slobs. So that room was like trashed. It was just piles of junk. And before we started, well, we started in one section. John came back because he had to lay down. I'm like, okay, but we're still cleaning. He's like, that's fine, I just need to lay down. And so um, he mentioned something about his shirt. I'm like, yeah, you have a pile there and you have a pile over here. And he's like, what are you talking about a pile over there? I said, this pile of shirts has been sitting on my craft station, my bins and stuff, for at least two weeks. He goes, I don't have any shirts over there. I'm like, get off your ass and go look. He's like, who? Who? I, I was wondering where this shirt went. Oh, I've been missing this shirt. Yeah. Because when you folded your clothes, you just put them on there and then put them in your drawers. So I was very happy. He went through his drawers and got rid of, I think, 10 shirts. So now he can somewhat close his drawer. I would love to just go in there and just get rid of a lot of stuff. Because he keeps things that doesn't fit him. Or sweatpants. Okay, right now it is 77 degrees. Why do you need sweatpants? I understand we do have a little cold days once in a while or cold nights. You only need one pair of sweatpants. No, he's got eight pairs of sweatpants stuffed in a drawer. That's why we don't share drawers. We don't share anything. We don't share covers. My bed has two comforters, two, uh, what are they called? Twin size comforters. He has his comforter, I have mine because he doesn't like his comforter tucked in. He doesn't like a top sheet. So on his side of bed, it's just this comforter just thrown on. My side is all nice and tucked in and pretty. Yeah, I'm a little bitchy today. Just because I hate cleaning. But the living room's clean. And tonight, before I go to bed, the kitchen will be clean and the living room will be clean. So, and the bathroom. So, there will be nothing that I need to clean. So, my plan was to just diamond paint my little heart away tomorrow. And I made a decision too. I think on Sundays, I'm going to stay away from YouTube. Now, I am going to film what's in the pot, which you like to figure out. What are we going to put in the pot? Huh. I have no idea. I got to check and see what the weather is. Because I know what I want to make. But if it's going to be like 80 degrees, I'm not using the oven, so. But, yeah. We will have to see. We will have to see. But I just want to diamond paint and watch my shows. I got to finish the hand mans. The hand, hand mans? 
Handmaid's Tale. Because I never finished after I went to bed so late that night. Which I think I have like six episodes and there's probably two or three new ones. Which I will stop. Yeah, my son. Oh, you can't see. He's looking to see if I'm here. Yeah, I'm here. Why is he shaking his head? Why are you shaking your head? Okay, I have to give the warning. I'm filming right now, so if you want to talk, you can talk. Or you want me to just finish this up? Yeah, finish it. Okay. So, anyways, that's my plan, is to... I can't see. Is that guy backing out? No. That's the one thing I don't like about this car, is the blind spots. I have two really bad ones in the back. And being so small, you would think I would... I wouldn't, you know? Mm -hmm. But it's that right back there. Okay. So, diving painting and watching my shows. Yeah, I think I finished the sentence, really. So, yeah. So, Sunday, I'm going to just step away and just watch some TV. Because I don't do that anymore. And all my shows have ended to the fall, so this is the perfect time to take Sundays and catch up. Okay, guys. I will check in when I get home. Bye. Okay. So, we have... Family, blue, blue family. I think that's why I call it blue family. And then look, we have a clean room. Woo! Well, don't look at Becca's crap. Yay! My room is all nice and clean. Okay, you're gonna look at the floor. You can see my big feet. Boom! Boom! Oh, oh, you saw the garbage there. Okay. So now we're in the living room. And there's Starry Night. So, <laughs> big goal here. But tonight and tomorrow, the plan is to get this section done. So we'll be one day off of schedule instead of two days off of schedule. So, I will check in. Maybe we can show you the teardown of the wedding tonight. And then that will be the last clip of this vlog. Okay. Hi, Topes. So, oh, that's Bo. I don't know if you guys ever seen Bobo. 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 He's deaf. He's blind. So, yeah. Bobo. Hi, Bobos. Yeah. He's just, he's on his last leg. Oh, he, there's Tobies. What, you want to be on camera, Totos? You heard someone talking about Bobo. Did you get jealous? Yes, you get jealous. I know. Okay, so I'm talking baby talk to my dog. Yeah, that's not cool. John's rubbing off on me. There's Becca's shoes. Aren't they wonderful? So, maybe we can do something tonight with the wedding. If not, maybe this is the last clip. So, Toby, if it's the last clip, you want to say bye? <gasps> say bye-bye. Bye-bye. Okay, bye guys. Okay. And I've noticed, I say, okay, every time I start a clip. So just ignore that. Um, here's the last entry to the vlog. Um, I'm getting ready to start that big section there. I would like to get two sections out, but we'll see. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this week's vlog. Well, the double portion, two weeks in one week vlog. Whatever. So, here you guys go. Hope you enjoy. Bye.